Okay, the fine command. There's a lot to the fine command. Like I said, it's the pocket knife that you can fire a gun with. It does real simple stuff. It does very complicated stuff. Well, we've done a video on the simple stuff. We know how to say find. Let me get down in the window here and get rid of some stuff. Get rid of that. We can say find in Etsy. How would I find all of the um, configuration files, the .conf files? I need start well. Need to get in the habit of doing star dot conf. So that's going to start in the Etsy directory and find all the files. Ignore case because of the I that end in dot conf. And there it spills them out. What if I want to see how many there were? Do the same thing and pipe it to WC or WC dash L will just give me the line numbers. There were 317 of them. <coughs> Okay, that's cool. It finds stuff. Um, the analogy that we gave the other day was the difference between find and locate. I always like to make a differentiation between those two. Locate would be looking for somebody's phone number using a phone book, an index. The find command would be starting at 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 and calling everybody sequentially and then writing down what they found. So one is going to take longer than the other. <coughs> but since it's a computer, it goes pretty quick. Um, but let's see what powerful things we can do. Let's say we wanted to save all of our configuration files just for a backup. I'm going to make directory, make directory temp. What do you know? It already exists. Who to thunk it? Junk. CD temp junk. Now, um, if I wanted to do this same thing, but every time I found one, copy it into the junk directory. Um, I can just up arrow to get my command back. That finds it. Okay, you have the dash exec, which says execute something. Okay, with every file that you find, as you go through there, do something with each file. Execute this command. Execute copy. We're going to execute the copy command, but you've got to have some kind of argument. The last argument can be slash temp slash junk. That's our second argument, right? Our first argument is going to be that. No, it doesn't make sense. But a pair of curly braces represents each file name as find finds them. And then at the end, you give it a backslash and a semicolon. Now, I'll give you some of this stuff. You just do it because it says to do it, and it works. You start off with the dash exec. This represents your variable. You know, like in a loop, you've got a variable. This is going to be your variable. And then that ends it. And you sort of take it as it's given. And it should be finding everything and copying all the files into here. Okay. Now, let's see. Um, that's the dash exec says, I'm getting ready to hand you a command. That's the idea. Yeah, it just it just gets it in there. Let's see if I go through and all the files. I see I've got some that s say odd. If I say, um, how about this? Find, um, and we're starting in temp junk. I name star odd star, and it found three of them. Good enough. What I can also do, let's say if I wanted to go through and find all of them with some kind of attribute and wanted to delete them as it found them, I can say exec rm for remove. That represents the file name. And then you've got to have that at the end. So as it finds files anywhere underneath the temp junk directory, if there were subdirectories, it would find those too. If you have a name that is odd, delete it. So now if I do an ls, there's nothing there. Okay. Uh, let's do an ls-l and sort of look around. Everything's owned by root, so we really can't do much with that. Yeah, we can. Let's play some. Let's say ls. I just happened to see one. Ah, oh, there's just one there. Um... <coughs>
How about this? LS star AR star. There we go. We've got a bunch of them that have AR. So this will give us a chance to go back and and review some stuff. How about CH own Wilbur star AR star. Change ownership of all these files that have an AR anywhere in them to Wilbur. ls l more there you go so you can see there's some in there okay now we could do um make directory another okay find starting in temp um find temp um t -t 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 user Wilbur let's see if that gives me what I want yeah it found them and you, you'll notice that they all have they all have ARs except for this it found one in temp mapping Wilbur okay yeah if you left if you left this off you'd have to put a period in there oh no let's try it just for the sake of argument if you left this out I think it confuses the command no it worked yeah so if you left it out it did just use the current directory so you're right it found the anything with the user Wilbur or anything that was user owned of Wilbur okay let's do exec and move whatever you find to slash temp slash junk slash another boop 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 what did I do wrong I didn't I didn't finish it with the backslash thing. there we go so ls another it moved them all alright how about this find starting in temp um let's see how about size size is less than 100k it found some we can do exec execute echo um and then do our quotes is less than 100 K and let's put that in quotes we may have to move the quotes then let's do it this way let's give the this to the this is less than 100k and we can output each one of those it finds into temp um, small files dot txt all right let's take a look at this before I hit enter find all the files starting in slash temp that means if they're in temp or any subdirectory underneath temp it's recursive just by by nature it's gonna it's gonna descend into all subdirectories any file that's less than 100k if I'd said plus that would have been greater than 100k and then execute echo whatever the file name is less than 100k that ends that and then redirect the output into temp small files txt now this operator is that a pinned or overwrite that's a pinned so it's going to stick them to the end is it going to do anything to the files themselves no so now how about cat temp small files dot txt There you go. <coughs> you could have used more instead of cat. More or cat or less would have worked. You know, it's kind of funny. That looks like a whole lot of files for what I, I thought there was. Let's 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 test it. Let's say, um, how about? We'd use it this way, WC temp 
smallfiles.txt. Looks like there are 405. Let's run our command again. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, just do this. Okay. Pipe WC dash L. I'm hoping for a 405. Yep. So those match each other. Okay. So you sort of get the idea. You do the dash exec at the end of it. You give it some kind of command. You use that for your variable. And then you end it with that. I just sort of take it, take it as it is. Let's um, do something else. I'm going to say, bump, I'm in temp, make directory um, work. I'm going to say, find, starting in user, um, any file that has readme in it. That look, yeah, that works. That works. Blum, 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 blum. It finds a bunch of them. How many does it find? Well, let's do a WC-L, and it finds 736 of them. There's a lot of readme files. All right, I'm going to give the same command again, and I'm going to say exec copy their file name into temp work backslash boom. Does that look like it makes sense? Find it's the same command. Execute copy each file as you find it into temp work. Boom. I thought I made a work directory. It quit on its own. There we go. Let's see. Let's get through this part of it first. I did a ls of temp work and counted them, and there were only 264. What was the, the count before? It was 700 and some, wasn't it? So, did it miss a whole bunch of them? Now, the command should be the same. There's your command, user, and then everything that had readme, and then copy it into temp work. Let's do, let's look at this real quick. Let's see if I can find it. It should be the first one that one read me I've got a hunch if I do find get up higher find user um, name read me okay is that um, going to ignore case no it's not is it going to find is it going to find readme.conf or readme so no it's going to find just exactly read me how many read me files are there a slew of them so what happened was it found them and it copied them but since the file names were the same it kept overriding that one file so that's why you have a difference of 500 and some and I bet you this is going to be a big number 412 that's just about what we had I had to make it index no, I don't think there's, you'd have to write a script at that point and get fancy with it if you wanted it to, to rename instead of clobbering what's there. Um. Okay, I went back to kind of figure out what went wrong here. What we got was CP omitting directories. The error was kicked out by the CP command. And what happened was it found directories named readme. I really just wanted files that were called readme. With the copy command, it actually would have attempted to have copied the entire directory and gotten a bunch of files that wouldn't have been named readme back into that directory. 
So I need to go back and really modify my command a little bit to get rid of those errors. Let's go back and work on this guy again. I'll do an rm temp work star. And I'm going to have to unalias that, so I might as well do it. An alias rm, and I'm going to just highlight and do that. All right, let's bring back that command again. I don't want files. I don't want directories that say read me. So what can I do to pull out the directories? I want just files, just regular files. I can say dash type f for just a regular file. If I wanted just those two directories, I could have said type d. So let's see if we get errors this time. No, it leaves out the directories and it should be good and happy. ls um, temp work wc 263. It should still, still be about the same. Okay, so there's our big trick and you just have to kind of play with it some to deal with the exec.